In this day and age, is this really as good as this? Hey you, my name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Now recently I watched a video of a photographer, it was a TV interview and he was discussing the differences between mobile photography and regular standard or camera photography. When he was asked what the main difference is, he said the main difference between these two is psychological. That when clients see you with a big bulky camera, it kind of instills confidence and that's really the main reason why professional photographers use cameras. I mean, come on, really? I know the direction that he's coming from because phones have become so good these days to the point that some of the photos and videos taken on either are such high quality that you might not be able to tell the difference. iPhoneography is a thing and entire movies have been filmed on phones. Are they a powerful tool in the hands of a creative person? Yes. Can they replace a camera in the hand of a professional? I think the answer is a hard no. The first and biggest difference is not the psychological effect. It's the sensor. Cameras have large sensors, whether it's micro four thirds or a crop sensor or a full frame or even a medium format. They're all several times at least bigger than the camera sensor in a smartphone. Now what does this mean? A pixel that is this big can pack a lot more features and quality than a pixel that is that small. No matter how advanced our nanotechnology gets. Larger pixels receive more light, have more dynamic range, have better color interpretation, and better heat management, just to name a couple things. Large sensors also have more pixels, which means higher resolution and sharper images. All this results in larger photos, for example, for print or high density displays, infinitely better low light performance, more detail and photos, higher frame rates for that popular slow-mo look, and while many mobile phones offer these features, they usually also lack in others. For example, high resolution or many megapixels will result in pretty bad low-light photos. A smaller sensor also means you don't get nearly as much compression or depth of field, meaning you can't really utilize the lenses that come with it. Speaking of lenses, you're also stuck with the one that comes with the phone. Sure, some of the new ones have two or three or more cameras, but you can't compare with the lineup of dozens of lenses available to professional photographers with an interchangeable lens system. And various focal lengths are essential for a professional photographer, but that is a topic for another video. Even though you do have attachable lenses that can go on phones, which are pretty high quality, we go back once again to problems with small sensors. Phones also don't have many accessories which are necessary for certain types of photography. For example, an external flash. Perhaps this will change with time, but right now it's pretty limited. Phone cameras are ever increasing in features, but for now are still very much lacking in terms of settings for photos and videos. For example, manual exposure controls or focus. Not to mention different types of focus modes, in-depth color and tint settings, different necessary settings for long exposures or time lapses. There are just many features that are missing on the majority of phones. In most situations, you have to settle for some sort of semi-auto. I don't want this video to sound like I'm just spreading dirt on mobile photography. Once again, mobile phones have become very powerful photography tools with features and accessories upgrading every single day. A phone with a good quality camera can last its owner well through the levels of amateur and hobbyist photographer. But I've never heard of a professional photographer who sold his photography equipment in exchange for the newest phone with an awesome camera. It's just not the same for now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that had some insightful video. If you agree or disagree with me, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for sticking around. I'm gonna see you guys next week. Next week, how do I turn this off?